Hey developers, so today we are doing something really cool. We are looking at a brand new Udemy course that I think you guys should pick up. And so this course is all about Angular. It's basically creating a hundred projects in Angular. So if you've ever wanted to learn Angular or you're already an Angular pro, this is a great beginning way to start off with because you're gonna learn so much in this course. And if you don't know, actually this course is created by my friend Dylan Israel, you may know him as Coding Tutorials 360, there he is right there. So he goes in depth into this course. It's over 12 and a half hours. In fact, he's not quite done with it. You actually get about three fourths of the hundred. You get about 75 different challenges with this and he's adding in one every week. By the time you watch this, he might already be done. So it's a really cool course and I'm just gonna dive into it. I'm gonna show you some of the things you'll learn in it and uh, everything you may want to know about Angular. And also, if you stay all the way to the end, I have a little gift for you guys. So make sure you pay attention during this video, watch it all the way through, and yeah, you may learn something. Also, if at any time you guys want to buy this, uh, actually, Udemy is always running some really good sales. So I put a link in the description below. Make sure you click on that link, you use that link if you buy this course, cause then it helps out Dylan and actually helps out my channel. I'll get a few bucks and I really appreciate it. It helps support what I'm doing here on YouTube. So yeah, check out the link in the description below. All right, so let's just jump on to, into it. So here is the course. It's the 100 Angular Challenge course. So if you don't know Angular, you can create components just like you do with React or Vue.js, but they also have things called services. You can also create custom directives. They have something called pipes, um, a lot different than maybe you've seen in React and Vue. So he deeps dive into all those kind of fundamental concepts of Angular and he creates actual projects out of it, which is really cool. Uh, you can see here, like I said before, it's almost 13, it's 12 and a half hours long, um, which you get today, but he'll be adding stuff every single week. And you'll learn even a little bit about testing, TypeScript, HTML, CSS, and it's kind of broken up into these different sections. So you have this introduction, getting started, challenges, crats, and final thoughts. And you can see here a little bit about Dylan. You can see a little bit more about the course. It's basically a hundred reusable and practical components. So you can really, if you ever need to jump into a job that uses Angular, you can really reuse these components and it's using Angular 10. So it's the latest version of Angular. And you, you know, it's not something old, you know, this is basically what you can use today. And it has some really good patterns. You know, I've actually used Angular at my job and you know, I've been taking note on how Dylan does some of the things he does in Angular. So I would, uh, you know, it's really nice to, to see like really good developer work in Angular and how he does things compared to how I do things. You can also see some of his uh, feedback already. He has 4.9 stars out of five. I think he's sold hundreds of copies already. Like literally like hundreds of people have bought this. Well, maybe I shouldn't say hundreds, dozens. Dozens of people have already bought this. It just came out recently as of the recording. So a lot of people are checking this out. You can see he already has 20,000 students. He's actually created several different courses. And by the way, this 20,000 students, 18,000, 19,000 students, these are paid courses. These aren't free courses. Most of his courses are paid and that's where most of his students come from. He has four of them. There's a lot of reviews and he has pretty good ratings. So you can see uh, great so far. This is core five. So here's a four out of five star. This course is by far one of the best, if not the best course in Angular, just by the sheer amount of practice projects you get. So the ki that's kind of really cool that you can learn so much from this right away. And excellent course, still going through it. And uh, like I said, you can get this for like $10 on sale, might be up to like $20. So I would highly recommend taking a look at it. Let's look at some of the content. Um, I, I, I would go into the course, you could see he has all the video set up and he kind of breaks it down. Like let, let's do the course here for a second. This will open up you to me. And you can see here, uh, I've kind of just jumped around and taken a look at some of the components you're building. So he has the introduction and then getting started. And then here's the challenges like a card, accordion, progress bar, star rating. And each one of these videos, he really deep dives into it. He kind of tells you what you should expect, like what kind of components you're gonna use, and then he goes through and does it uh, one by one throughout the video. But instead of going through the videos, I actually have some of the projects here. He has the sample project you can download. So here is some of the sample projects here. I think I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger on my screen so you can see it. Like you have a uh, password and it has this little bar here. So you can see, that's kind of neat. You can see like, 
if it hits the complexity level you need, like if you have um, stars and uppercase and lowercase and enough digits, it'll fill up this bar all the way. He has this, like how to create a 404 page. Um, like here's like a, a sample of a 404 page. Uh, he has like an overlay, he has like pills. Like how do you create these little pills? And what's nice is you could get some of these things yourself by downloading things like Angular Material or one of the material design frameworks out there. But really you don't need to have those. You could just do this all yourself and you're gonna save so much time. Well, let me, let me rephrase that. You're gonna save so much space. So one of the problem is, is when you start adding in new libraries into your projects, the bundle size increases, but if you can just create the components yourself and maybe take inspiration, i.e. copy what Dylan did in here, then you're not gonna have to bring in something like Angular Material into your Angular app. You can just do what he did here. So like, here's his pill design, here's his pill components, um, you know, like make, makes them look a little nicer. Oh yeah, here's your filters. So you can kind of filter in between Here's like a really simple field set for his address, messages, you know, kind of really nice. Here's a, a bottom sheet, like a little, almost like a toaster at the bottom. Some social media components. I think you have to do something to get that show there. Skeleton loader, like you toggle that off and on. Stay up to what I'm doing. He has like a little footer here. Here's some social media um, buttons here. Countdown timer, a simple hello world pop-up. You can see this is really nice and also has a little the little triangle at the bottom, and then it kind of uses Angular's transitions to animations to show it, to open and close. That's one of the tutorials I watched. Snack bar, kind of brings it up from the bottom there. Here's a banner cutout. Here's just, uh, I guess this is just a way to, a button toggle. Here's the, the ribbon. You can like move the ribbon everywhere. So you can see how you can do that. You can change the color, success or warning. Uh, you can't really see it when I'm, Mine, my, I'm in the way. Here's more forms. You're gonna find one thing is when you start doing Angular form, they have a really built-in nice form library inside Angular. You can use something called reactive forms or just template-based forms, and he talks about that and how to set that up. You can uh, here's a table that works really well. Here's like tabs. How do you create a tab? Paging, like how do you create pages and how you would use that with the back end. Another simple table, you're gonna do a lot of tables in Angular or in a lot of your web development projects. A counter, um, here's the, it, it actually decrements, here's the plus side and here's increments. Search list, um, I think you have to load this up with some sort of list first. Debounce search, rich text viewer, a modal, like here's just a basic modal pop-up, a toggle, a LinkedIn, like if I click on this, this will open my Twitter and actually auto-populate it. Some loaders, credit card, top of page, star rating, a progress bar that's animated, which is nice. Cordy, I mean, this is so much stuff here. Oh, right here, here's the, uh, here's the social media bar on the right-hand side. I missed that. Oh, here's a little button here to go back to the top. Let me show you how you can go to directives. So here's the directives here like how, how that works with copy directives, scale directives. You can see you can mouse over and it gets bigger. Like ripple effects, you can see here it was rippling a little bit there. Debouncers, loading, lazy loading images. So, and then he has a whole services section, which uh, if you understand services, that's a way you can kind of share information between different components. It's not the same as like a state library, but it, it's sort of a way you can do dependency injection and then share things inside Angular. So he has like snack bar directive, he has update state, um, he has uh, some example pipes that you might want to use like sorting, uh, rich texts, filters. And then he has an other section where he even has like tabs and, and more things. So if you want to learn how to do all this in Angular, it's probably the only, I can say for sure, this is the only Angular uh, library that does all this or a course that actually shows this many things. I mean, ba basically it's like taking something like Angular Material, but showing you really simple examples of how to create it from scratch. So uh, I would highly recommend this. Once again, use the link in the description below if you're interested. And for those of you who've stayed all the way to the end, I appreciate it. Uh, Dylan has given me two courses to give away. Two, two? 
two, two courses. So uh, I want to hear from you guys. Uh, first, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and smash that like button. And I want to ask you uh, what you guys think of Angular. So I will pick the best answer. Uh, just leave a comment. I will pick some random people to get a free copy of this cool course for free. But I would highly recommend it. It's only like nine, ten dollars in Udemy. I would just go and pick it up. But uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and give a couple of courses away because uh, Dylan has given that to me. So check this out. Uh, once again, thank you to Dylan Israel for giving me this course. And yeah, check out it in the description. Thanks.